Well, today I'm going to estimate the number of sand grains uh, on this beach uh, by using a microscope. Well, and you might want to watch until the very end of this video because then I would like to compare the number of sand grains on this beach with the number of body cells that we have and also with the number of stars in our Milky Way and maybe even in the whole universe. Well, I, even, I don't know the answer yet. Uh, I don't know how the numbers compare, uh, but uh, we're going to find out. Well, a microscope uh, will be necessary because we have to estimate the volume of a sand grain and then by dividing the volume of all of the sand of the speech by a volume of a sand grain, we can derive a number. And the first thing that I have to do is, is I have to calculate the total volume of sand on the speech. How do I do that? Well, I have to multiply the width of the beach uh, by its height and then divide this number by two. This gives me the cross section, which is uh, like a triangle. And then I have to multiply this number by the length of the beach. Now I checked uh, the maps app and determined the beach to be, the beach to be approximately uh, 20 kilometers long. So it's uh, 20,000 meters. Uh, that's only an approximation, of course. And also the width of the beach is not always the same everywhere. And uh, because I don't have a measuring tape with me, uh, well, I can, of course, use my GPS uh, to determine the width or I'm simply gonna paste it off. And I think uh, that's what I'm going to do right now. Well, I counted approximately 45 steps. That's the width uh, of the beach, uh, maybe around uh, 40 to 50 meters. Well, I think we're just gonna stay with 50 meters. Uh, it's uh, going to be a good estimate. Well, I have to now determine the height of the beach and I estimate the beach to be approximately one and a half uh, to two meters high. Simply by looking horizontally, um, I think uh, two meters in is a good number. So I have taken along a few of those uh, plastic centrifuge tubes here. They're graduated. Uh, this means it goes all the way up to 25 milliliters. And uh, I'm going to now use those containers uh, to determine the amount of air, the volume of air inside the sand. Um, so I'll fill up uh, the container with sand and then I'll add some water to see how much water is needed to displace the air. And then on my way home from my holidays, while well, I was try, uh, riding in the train, looking out the window, I was already doing my first uh, few preliminary calculations to estimate the number of sand grains. And yeah, there are a lot of them. Luckily, I was able to find a little bit of sand in my lug luggage when I opened it. Uh, I immediately made a permanent slide by using some nail polish uh, and then putting the sand uh, into the nail polish and letting it dry. This gives you a very nice and a flat uh, surface. And then you can, of course, put it under the microscope and uh, take uh, a couple of pictures and, and videos and I was able to see as expected uh, sand grains of different colors and size and shapes and consistencies and I don't know what. Uh, many of the sand grains probably are also some remains or remnants of maybe seashells. Um, yeah, all sorts of things uh, you can find in any case at this magnification, it really looks uh, looks beautiful. I would like to now tell you a little bit on how I wanted to, how I wanted to determine the volume of sand grain because this method is a little bit unique Unique. It's not a new method. Um, they have actually used similar methods already before, before they had powerful computers. In order to do that, um, I have to first determine the radius of a sand grain. Now, how can you do that? Of course, you need a calibration slide. Um, you can buy those relatively cheaply. And then I printed out the sand grains uh, on, yeah, on a computer, on a printout, on a com with a, using a printer and also the calibration slide, of course. And then, of course, one way is uh, to measure out each of the sand grains and then to do a little bit of math and convert and convert it into millimeters, and then you know how um, the how thick or how what the diameter of a sand grain is. Okay, here we go. Um, however, I wanted to use a different method. Um, I want to use a method that they used uh, many years ago to determine the area of a curve in math, for example. What they've done is, is uh, they didn't have computers yet, so they have cut out the, the curve uh, on paper, and then they put the curve on a scale, and by measuring the weight, uh, you can determine the area because uh, the more uh, weight there is, is the larger the area. And I want to do something similar. I cut out the sand grains to determine the area. 
the projected area that is um, and then using the formula of a circle I assume that the sand grain is a circle I can calculate the radius and when I know the radius of a sand grain then I can calculate the volume of a sand grain it's a little bit indirect here and of course I'm doing the same thing with my reference uh, which I also cut out and also put on the scale and then I can compare it uh, and I've used this method and indeed it seemed to work out and the results are quite plausible and uh, yeah um, and then I had to do a little bit of math and in the description you can see all of the math and all of the steps I'm not going to talk about this right now and then I was able to determine or estimate at least the order of magnitude of sand grains in on this beach in southern France and it's a large number as we all expect and how many sand grains can you find on this beach well approximately we all waited for this that's 10 to the power of 16 that that's a large number that's a large number uh, as a matter of fact it's so large that it's kind of difficult to compare to anything else. Um, so let's compare this a little bit to the number of stars uh, in our Milky Way, in our galaxy. And there are far fewer stars in our galaxy. There are only, uh, under quotation marks, 10 to the power of 11 uh, stars, which is around 100 billion stars. That, that's almost nothing compared to the number of sand grains. Uh, yeah, you see, the, at this, this scale, it's really difficult uh, to imagine. But uh, that means that there is 100,000 times more sand on the beach than in the galaxy. And to the body cells, 100 trillion body cells uh, we have estimated. And this means that uh, on the beach there is 100 times more sand than we have body cells because yeah, that's uh, also quite a bit more. And now, however, the stars in the universe are still much more, okay? So 10 to the power of 21, that's approximately the estimated number of stars in the universe. And this means that there are approximately 100,000 times more stars in the universe than on this beach. So and if you now take all of the sand on the earth, not just this beach, but maybe also on the deserts and, and, and all other beaches and maybe the sand that you find in the ocean, well then probably we have more sand or maybe the same amount of sand on earth than we have as we have stars in the universe. So if anyone asks you, well, how many stars are there in the universe? And if you say there are as many stars in the universe as we have sand grains on this earth, well, then you're not going to be so wrong. Okay, um, it's probably, I have to be very careful here, probably almost maybe, maybe similar. Okay, it doesn't matter. It's a huge number. Really, it doesn't matter. Well, in any case, uh, this is how I determined the number of sand grains. And now I want to know how many people are there on this beach. And uh, one of the things that's a little bit easier to calculate um, is the total number of people that you can find here on this beach. Uh, I counted approximately 20 people per 10 meters um, of beach. And this means that uh, over the 20 kilometers, uh, there are approximately 40,000 people now on this beach. Well, I think uh, that uh, for today, it's, uh, it's enough again. I'm going to now enjoy the rest of the day here on the beach. Happy microbe hunting as always, and uh, see you around next time. Bye-bye. Well, I think uh, for today, I need to get the cable away. <laughs>